Welcome back. A huge show of defiance in Hamilton today aimed at Premier Doug Ford and his conservative government. Hundreds of people rallied at Hamilton City Hall to oppose Ford's plans for new housing in the Greenbelt and farmland in the city, with a federal MP calling for a criminal investigation into the province's actions. Al Sweeney was at the rally and has the details. For the fifth weekend in a row, protesters lined the streets of Hamilton to fight Doug Ford's housing plans. Stop the sprawl. Just stop, stop, stop. They're opposing Ford's plan to expand the city's urban boundary to allow new development and to take land out of the protected greenbelt. We want our farmland. As many as 600 people took part in the protest, hoping to force Ford to back down. Well, the Ford government has backed down before when people have pushed back, so we're just going to keep pushing back. Hands off! Greenbelt! Hands off! Greenbelt! No fight! Hamilton NDP Member of Parliament Matthew Green called for a criminal probe into reports of Greenbelt land being sold to developers before being opened up for housing. We don't call that speculation. We call that corruption. And I am here to demand that there be a full and criminal investigation into the dealings of this Doug Ford government. Premier Ford promised when he was running for election in 2018 to protect the Greenbelt. But last month said changing circumstances forced him to change policies. We have a housing crisis today that we didn't have four years ago. Those circumstances include plans for a new wave of immigration into southern Ontario, even though homes are already expensive. We know that people are struggling to buy an affordable home. Hamilton Progressive Conservative MPP Donna Skelly says things will get worse if the government doesn't act. It would be a lot easier for all of us if we didn't have to uh, address what is now a housing crisis. But we have to take some bold initiatives. And we really believe that over the next 10 years, with, with um, 1.5 million homes built across Ontario, the prices of homes will become more affordable. But Burlington's mayor says municipalities won't get development fees they need from developers under the new plan. And there's widespread agreement the government's bill is wrong. This will devastate municipal finance. It will not allow us to collect what we need for community centers, libraries, parks, all of the things a growing community needs. It is really a subsidy for developers and investors. Premier Ford has denied that any developers were tipped off before they bought Greenbelt land. Now, Member of Parliament Matthew Green suggests there are strategies the federal government could use to block the province's actions like overseeing environmental changes. Adam?